Hey Andy here from Andy's Tech Tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how you can change the background color of your Microsoft Word document. You may have tried this before and noticed that when you go to print, it doesn't actually print out the color you've chosen. So I'm going to also show you that process too. So I'll be showing you how to change the color and how to ensure that that color is printed when you print your document. I'm going to be demonstrating this on Word for Mac, but if you're a Windows user, the process is basically just the same. The options are slightly different when it comes to the second part where I'm showing you how to ensure that your document will be printed in the color you've chosen, but certainly the way that you change the background color is exactly the same. So I've got a document set up here. Now this just has standard placeholder text in black on a white background. This is largely how you're going to see a document when you create a new document and type in Microsoft Word. To change the background color though, what we need to do is we need to go up to the design menu. And then from the design menu, we are going to go across to the right hand side and you'll see we have page color. Now this little downward arrow, the down chevron is telling me that there are additional options within here. And when we go in, you'll see that you have colors defined by your theme or standard colors, or of course there are more colors. Now the default setting is no color. So there is no color on this background. It isn't white, it's actually just no color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose black and you'll see that when I choose black, it automatically changes the text to white for me, which is perfect. If I go into orange, you'll see that we have the dark text. So it sets the text in a correct contrast to the background color, which means we can always read it. Now I want to show you this. If I do command P, which brings up the printing options, you will see that when I go to print, it will print it with the white background and black text, which isn't actually what I have on screen here. So it's fine to change the page color if you're just looking at creating um, a bit of contrast to make viewing it a little bit easier. But when it comes to printing, it's not ideal because what we're doing here is we're going to print out as a standard document with white background and black text, which isn't what we're looking for. So to change that, what we need to do is we need to go up to the Word menu at the very top. So we're going to the main menu and I'm going to go down to Preferences. So we're within Microsoft Word, we go to Preferences. And then you'll see they brings up the word preferences here. We are going to choose print. And within print, you'll see there is a print option called print background colors and images. So right now this isn't checked, therefore they are not going to be printed. But if I choose to check that option and then close this menu down, when I now use command and P to go into print, you'll see it prints it exactly like you see on screen. If I was to change the color to black with the white text, again, if I do command P, it brings up, so it's basically going to print out exactly what you have there. So it depends what you're looking for. If you want to print in the same format as you see on screen, then you'll need to make sure you check that option. But by default, if you don't change that, it is going to print out always with a white background and black text. Okay, so that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like and feel free to comment below with your thoughts on the video or on using any of these options in Microsoft Word for Mac. I've got plenty of other videos for Microsoft Word for Mac available on my YouTube channel, so do check them out. I'll put the link in the description and in the card above. And finally, if you haven't already done so, please do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you tick that notification bell so you're notified about any future videos like this one. But thanks again for watching.